We've covered a lot in a short period of time, but uh, in uh, just about a minute or so, I'd like to turn back to each of you for final closing remarks you'd like to share with our attendees today. Maybe one nugget they could take from, away from this uh, and best practices here. Christopher, we'll start with you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, thank you, everyone, for attending. Uh, this was great. Um, I think my my closing remark would be preparation. Preparation is key, right? Knowing what you're trying to get from your cross examination, where you're going. Uh, I loved Greg's point, you know, that the jury has maybe 15 minutes of attention. Um, so starting out with a bang, uh, closing with a bang, uh, and knowing again what what story you're trying to tell with your cross examination. Um, that's all going to be very key, especially when you're uh, cross-examining a uh, the plaintiff. Um, prepare, 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 because that's, again, the first time as a defense attorney that you're going to be able to be examining a witness, usually, uh, at the time of trial. So that would be my closing thought on this. And thank you, everyone, for uh, for attending again. Thank you so much. And, Greg, any final thoughts from you? Uh, I'll, I'll keep it simple. Speed kills. Okay, keep the questions simple, <laughs> fast, and go fast on your pace. Uh, the juries uh, in particular, you know, I handle some very boring cases like mold cases, for example. Nothing will put yeah. a jury sleep faster than at 2.30 after they come back from lunch and the, and the, the meal hits their tummy. They got maybe a five-minute window. Uh, so, when you call your witnesses, uh, you want to have your best witness go at nine o'clock, and you want to have your weakest witness go at three o'clock. So uh, that's that's uh, timing and speed is 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 the best thing that happens, and that may be the only thing the jury remembers when they go into the deliberation room. 